Hi, Chris with D&D Garage Doors here, and today we're going to talk about photo eyes. Um, how did photo eyes work? You have basically an infrared beam. So what it does is it sends this invisible infrared beam. Anytime the door comes down, it's going to stop the door and make it go back up. And then the lights will actually, usually on most models, LiftMaster, Marantech, Genie, the light will actually flash a bunch of times to let you know that something has obstructed the photo eyes. But for this particular model, this is a LiftMaster, we can identify this is the sending and that's the receiving. So how do these things get misaligned? A lot of people sometimes put garbage cans in the corner or they'll be sweeping. Any motion that will accidentally loosen these little wing nuts here can knock these things out of alignment. What does a misaligned photo eye look like? I'm going to simulate a misaligned photo eye the green light is kind of flickering a little bit here and what that means is it's barely aligning with the other photo eye. So this would cause the door to not close, you know, even if nothing is obstructing the beam, chances are it's just ever so slightly out of alignment. So what you're going to do is just loosen this little wing nut up and this eye will actually pivot all the way around. You can actually pivot this quite a bit until the green light lights up very solid green and then tighten back down. There can be no flicker or flash to this green light. I'm gonna show you how to override the safety sensor until you get it realigned. We're going to override the safety sensors using the wall button. So if you press and hold the wall button, and you may have to hit it a second time, and press and hold until the door comes all the way down and stays down. Now if you let go of this button at any time, you know, there it goes, it'll go back up, and the light will flash again telling you that there's a problem with the photo eyes. So again, just if you have to go to work and there's nothing in the way, press and hold until the door comes all the way down and stays down and then you can actually go about your day. You'll have to go through your front door and lock the door, but that's, that'll at least get you going. We handle your